We, we must stand up. We must stop breaching. Show a little bit of gut. It is time for us as Christians to stand up, to move out, to do we something. Must stand. Hi. My name is Dr. Terry Jones. This is the Braveheart Show. The Braveheart Show is about truth. That is our desire. Our desire at the Braveheart Show is not to make you mad or happy or sad. We're not trying to give you goosebumps. Well, we are not trying to be a blessing. We're trying to tell you the truth. That's what the Braveheart Show is about. And Islam is of the devil. Yes, it is coming out. We have got a brand new book by the same title. Islam is of the devil. Be watching for it. It'll be coming to the bookstores. It's going to be published by Charisma and Creation House. Islam is of the devil. In that book, we reveal the evilness of Islam. What their actual plan is. How they are willing to do whatever it takes, including lying, that they might be able to accomplish their goal. And we also talk in there about the real problem. And the real problem is not even Islam. Islam is an evil religion. It is violent. It is oppressive. But even Islam is not the problem. The actual problem is the weakness of the church. The actual problem is the fact that we have lost, we, 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 we've lost our, our guts as a church. I think a good example of that is our president. Our President Obama, a very, very bad, bad, bad president. And I mean the word bad, not in the sense of good, cool, but in the sense of, of, of being a bad president, but being a president that is not qualified. But we have got just exactly what we deserve. We live in a democracy, a republic. The advantage and disadvantage to that form of government is that we get what we deserve. With God's grace, we get what we do not deserve. We get forgiveness. We get heaven and not hell. We get healed, prosperity. We get a chance to build the kingdom of God. But a democracy, we get what we deserve. We deserve and we got a very bad president. The, quest the question is why? Are we stupid? Or were we somehow tricked into voting? Or were we somehow deceived? We voted for a man that was not qualified. We saw that. We saw that right there in the years of experience that he had and did not have. It was very obvious that this person from Illinois is not qualified. He's not qualified to run, to govern the largest, most powerful, richest nation in the world. He was not qualified. We knew it back then. This last year shows us that he was not qualified. And then why did we vote for him? Or why did you vote for him? Because we're stupid? No. We voted for him. Many people voted for him because you're racist. You voted for him because he was black. You voted for him because he was a Democrat. How can you vote for a Democrat? Look at the, look at the policies that they have. You voted for him because he was black. You know, that makes you a black racist. That makes you a white racist. Anytime we vote for a man or a woman for any other reason, then we truly, truly believe they are the best qualified. 
anytime we vote for them because they're white, because they're black, because they're red, purple, or green, anytime we vote for them for those reasons, that makes you, us, a racist. I hate that. I hate what we have in America. We have a double standard. That is racism. And that's why we have a president that is not qualified. Now that's why we have a president that we should have never, never, never voted for. If for no other reason than for this reason. He is the most pro-abortion president we have ever had in our history. He is not only silent about abortion, he is outspoken. He is for abortion. He promotes abortion. He stands for abortion. How can we do that? Abortion, if we do not turn, change, repent, will bring upon our nation the judgment of God. It is not a choice. It is a human being. It is not your body. You have a body in your body, not your body. Your body is this, your hand. You want to cut off your hand, cut off your hand. You want to cut off your arm, cut off your arm. But that body within you does not belong to you. You are the keeper of that body. You are the protector of that body. You are the body that nourishes that body. But it is not your body to kill, destroy, mutilate as you desire. That is the type of president we have voted in. A president that believes in abortion. That makes the German Holocaust look like a Christmas party. And compared to what we are doing, we are killing, destroying, mutilating 3,700 babies per, not per week, not per month, no, no, not per year, but every single day of the week, every 24 hours, 3,700 babies get cut to pieces, get destroyed and killed. That's what we are doing. Church, we must stand up. Church, we must speak out. We must cry out to God. Nehemiah began to rebuild the wall. And Nehemiah cried out. He said, God, forgive us. Forgive our own sins. And forgive the sins of our fathers. Church, we must stand up. We must, on Sunday morning, we, we must ask God for forgiveness that we have allowed things like abortion to exist in our land. We must repent. Christians, repent. Black and white. If you voted for President Obama, you need to repent. That was a sin. That was not okay. That was probably racism. Or that we need to repent. That we have allowed homosexuality to take such a hold upon our country. We need to repent that we that we have not we have not given those people the hope of salvation. Well, we have given them the feeling they are okay. Everything is good. Everything is okay. And with doing that, we have denied them the right to eternal life by telling them that wrong was right. It is time to stand up. Church, stand up. Join with us. Doveworld.org. Stand with us. Doveworld.org. Look for the book. Buy the book. Islam is of the devil. This is the Braveheart Show. God bless and goodbye. Doveworld.org.